The Delphi murders case. The jury has been cleared to hear interrogation tapes of the suspect being questioned about the killings of the two eighth grade girls. ABC's Eva Pilgrim has the latest. The man accused in the brutal Delphi, Indiana murders, in his own words, Richard Allen's defense team now requesting the jury hear tapes from two interrogations. Allen is on trial for allegedly killing 13-year-old Abby Williams and 14-year-old Libby German in 2017. He has pled not guilty. He became a suspect five years after the murders when a volunteer clerk who entered more than 14,000 tips into a database discovered a misfiled tip sheet. That tip? from Allen himself three days after the murders. He went to police self-reporting that he was on the trail the day of the murders. The sheriff testifying that report fell in the cracks, leaving Allen hiding in plain sight. From the defense perspective, the fact that this tip was there and that it was miscategorized and not discovered until five years later really is strengthening their case because every instance that they can find that this was not handled correctly always leads to reasonable doubts for the jury. Indiana State Police Lieutenant Jerry Holman taking the stand Saturday, revealing details from his conversation with Allen that happened during the search of Allen's home. Holman telling the jury he questioned Allen about an unspent cartridge found near the girls' bodies, a key piece of evidence in the case, saying Allen told him, there's no way that round cycled through my gun. I don't know how it got there. Holman testifying Allen became increasingly agitated but denied any involvement despite being asked more than 20 times. The lieutenant saying at one point he told Allen along with his wife he believed he was a good man. Allen allegedly responding, what kind of good person would kill two girls? When we look at the testimony that law enforcement is providing in this case, it really gives context about these unprovoked statements that Allen gets. The defense pushing back on Holman, who didn't record that conversation, questioning his interrogation methods, why no Miranda rights were recorded, and how evidence was gathered at the crime scene. Holman stating, mistakes were made. Today is the ninth day of trial. Our sister station in Indianapolis is covering every minute of it, and we'll have the latest updates for you beginning at 4 o'clock.